Welcome to my hobby room and the HO train project that has taken over my life. So I'm going to do a little walkthrough of my hobby room and layout and uh, and I hope this is a first of a series of videos that I'll post as I progress through this project. So first, um, quickly, um, this is my little woodworking, electrical, uh, paint area. I uh, built that last summer. And um, before I showed the layout, uh, my hobby desk, about to paint some castings um, and uh, um, so that's where I work, it's, and this is the project. Um, this was an old racquetball court that we had on our property that has now become my hobby room. And as we all like to do, HO train enthusiasts, we, whatever space we have, we fit a train into it. Um, and that's what I've done. So here's what I did. I started this project last summer, and um, this is going to be a Union Pacific line that I, I'm going to loosely um, map through the areas that that line travels and try to create some scenes in different parts of the country. Um, right in front of us is, in the lower level, um, a scene from the Red Rock country, um, Utah. I picked a little town in Utah. This is where I'm getting loose. It's called Silver Reef, Red Rock Canyon, technically the Union Pacific Line didn't go there, I don't believe, but went close by. But this will definitely be um, my Red Rock uh, scene. I've started playing with some backdrop painting. I've never done that before. Um, so you can see it's just partially done. A lot of parts of the layout are in various stages where I'm trying new techniques and, um, and um, this is a model that I recently built uh, and that'll fit within here. It's just sitting in the area I have it planned I have to do some landscaping and kind of reconfiguring a little bit of the track to fit that layout. But essentially this is the uh, inspiration photo that I took from that area that I'm trying to model. So that's um, scene one, Red Rock Canyon. And then I move through um, a little area, a little transition area, and uh, built this uh, trestle bridge last winter, I guess it was. Um, and that was a challenge, um, but I'm fairly happy with how it turns out. As we progress through this hobby, we all learn new techniques. I mean, there's certainly things I'd done differently. I don't like the stain I put on it. I'd, I would have done that differently now that I know more techniques, but now we're nitpicking. It's, I think it's very nice. And um, I'm not happy with the color of the rocks in this area. Um, I'll have to f figure out how to repaint rock colors uh, and redo that a little bit. But overall, that's coming out very nice. So that's the transition area, and it transitions me to what will be the Salt Lake City uh, rail yard, of course, it's just a rail yard, um, but again, trying to keep with my theme, um, I will try to figure out a way of making that, putting some iconic scenes, backdrops that'll make that come to life. Um, and then we'll move through um, a little bit of probably a, just a mountainous, I don't really have a great plan for that. Um, and then this is, uh, this is a folk, really one of the focal points of the layout. Um, this is where I go from a single layout into a, a double lay or two tier layout. And you can see how the line is split. One has gone up, one has gone down. Um, and the goal is to try to not make that look so obvious. And, um, here's my inspiration photo. If you, um, obviously just kind of a rocky, well, Utah mountain or Rocky mountain scene. Um, and I, my vision here is a, a waterfall flowing down underneath this trestle bridge I built, another one, easier, straight, definitely easier than curved, um, into a river bed 
that will kind of travel through that other scene I just showed. So that's, uh, um, I'm kind of happy with the rock. Maybe it's a little darker than I wanted, but I think when I start putting the vegetation in and the trees and the water, and I think that'll look, I think that'll look good. This area here has got a long way to go. I don't like how the mountains are turning out, but I do have a, a plan on how to take what the lower level's fine, but I need to kind of fix how that's going to move up and kind of make it look like those mountain scenes that I showed from the picture. And then we'll, I don't really have a good vision for this area here, but it, um, but it kind of takes us ultimately to this middle scene, which is going to be the Pacific Northwest. Um, and this one, I definitely have a plan. This is logging and mining and um, just started last weekend carving out or forming the rocks and the mountains. Um, and um, so I, I really like how that's coming out. I have a really good vision of what I want and starting to build a logging camp that will go right here um, and a lumber yard, lumber mill that will go in this area here. I think I'm going to fix that track to make it real go on the outside. But, um, but I've seen some great photos online um, with, you know, this kind of logging river into a little pond. I can really see how I can, can work on that. It's a little tight on space, but I think I have enough to make it work. Um, and then it'll curve back around uh, into um, ultimately what will be a, like a Portland, Oregon, kind of where I live scene. Um, this is a, this isn't Portland. This was an, a scene from an old layout I had and I liked some of the stuff that I did and I didn't want to throw it away. So I fit it in here, but I'll reconfigure this a bit, put some Portland iconic scenes in there to make that look, you know, a little bit like someone might say, hey, that's Portland. Um, and then the last part I haven't shown yet is the upper level of this layout. And there's not much, the track is all laid, no wiring is all done, and that's true throughout. But up top here, this is definitely going to be um, a plan for a couple years out. I'm thinking of um, more of a, a valley scene as I go from mountains and probably take us to kind of the uh, more towards the Midwest. Um, but what I do see happening up here is some towns. I have a lot of open space, so I um, it is higher up. Um, so I want to work with that, but I can really envision a great town village scenes up here um, uh, and then ultimately around at the top level back this way uh, this will just be industrial uh, a little bit of a, a rail yard um, you know in the, in the plains but I have enough space up here to do some nice things with um, some in an industrial scene so that's the project. This is the train room. This is the thing that has kept me busy many, many hours over the last year and a half and definitely many hours to come. Thanks for watching.